Welcome to today's minute. Today I'd like to show you how to add the keyboard and character viewer to your menu bar. The first thing I'm going to do is go under the Apple down to System Preferences. So the Apple in the top left corner of your screen to where it says System Preferences. Click that. It should open your System Preferences. The top row, the fourth one over, is called Language and Text. I'm going to click Language and Text. There are four buttons across the top. The button that we want to click is Input Sources. Very top one in the list is the Keyboard and Character Viewer. And once I check that box off, it now appears in my menu bar at the top of the screen. If you don't believe me, I'll uncheck it. It's gone. Check it. It's back up there. All right, now I have the United States by default. So I'm going to go find say a French keyboard. So I'm going to put French here as well. And As soon as I check that box, now I have an American flag up here. And the reason I have the American flag is because now I can toggle between a French keyboard and an American keyboard if I want. So I'm going to close this window. Why would I want to do that? Alright, if I say show the keyboard viewer, here's the keyboard. And here it is in American. Why would we want ever to use that? Well, if I hold down the Option key on my keyboard, look what happens. Now I can see all those little symbols that elude me every time I try to remember how to type them. For example, Copyright. That is Option G, right there. And now you know how to remember it by just using the keyboard viewer. If you're a French student or a French teacher, if I switch this keyboard to French, now I have all the accents that I would use when typing French available here. If I hold the Option key, things change. You have a whole different set of options with the Option key on the French keyboard. So that's two examples of using the keyboard viewer. Make sure you switch it back to US or some of your typing might not come out the way you expect it to. And the other one that we added is the character viewer. And a lot of you have seen this. This has all the symbols that you need to add math. Um, they have some Greek symbols in here, some currency symbols, um, arrows, parentheses, and any of these things, if I click them and then I click the insert button on the bottom, it will insert wherever I'm typing, whether I'm in my word processor or whether I'm in a keynote file or anything where I can type. Hope you've enjoyed this minute. Hamilton, a minute.